And here we have part B, where the program has these four rules. The first says zero is next to one, one is next to zero, zero is even, and then for any x and y, if x is next to y and x is odd, then y is even. And the last one says that for every x and y, if x is next to y and x is even, then y is odd. Yes. Then let's move on and see what is the Herbrand universe of this problem. So there are no function symbols, so we just have to collect the constants 0, 1, this is all we have. Then that's it. Herbrand universe at these two constants, 0 and 1. Now, before we go to, to, the, um, to build the Hebron base, let's just collect here the predicates so that afterwards it's easier for that. For us, we have next with one argument, even with one argument, and odd with, with one argument. That's it. Then now we can build the Hebron base just instantiating in a way, these predicates with all possible ground terms of the Hebrand universe. So we have these predicates, we will instantiate them with these terms. So again, this is pretty straightforward. So next, we have next of zero. Oops. Sorry, here I made a mistake. Let me fix it. Next has two parameters, not one, so we have to write a two there. Good, then for next we have next of zero, zero, next of zero, one, next of one, zero, and next of one, one. You see all the possible, all the possible instances of this predicate next using the ground terms zero and one. And then for even, we just have even zero, even one. And similarly for odd, odd zero, odd one. Good, let's move on. Now we have to find or determine or compute the ground instantiation of this program P. So for these three, it's trivial because these are just facts. So we just have to, to copy them to this ground instantiation. I'll rewrite them, them here. Next zero, one. Next one, zero. And even of zero. And here, let's move a bit. Uh, let's do it like this, yes. Uh, comes the, a bit the interesting part of the exercise with these two rules with variables. And basically what these two rules both have just variables x and y. So we have to replace this x and y by all possible combinations of zero and one, which has, which are, um, I'll write them here, zero, 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 one, one, zero, and one, one, right? So then we have to replace in each of them the variables x, y by each of these, and that's it. So. I'll do it here quickly, and maybe you want to scroll uh, forward in the video because there's nothing really interesting in this writing now. So let's start with uh, with this one there. I start writing the next because here with the next I have the x and the y and then it's easier for me to to know what I'm doing. This is oops sorry. This is the one and here I have the even with the, the zero. And then finally next one one got one and even one. Let me erase here because this is not nicely written. 
good. So we see here an X0001, 1011, and here these are the X's and these are the X's, and these are the Y's, and these are the same Y's, right? Good. Then now for the second rule, basically what we have to do is replace, it's the same as what we had before, just replacing odd even by odd and odd by even. Sorry, but sometimes I just have to to sing a bit. I'm not very good at it, but I like practicing. What one and next one one even one. Yes, and that's it. So again, here we have the X, which is the same as here, 0, 0, 1, 1, and the Y, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Good, then this is it for the ground instantiation for, of the program. And now we just have to compute the stable model of this program, and this is very easy, given all that we already know. So these three facts belong to the stable model. And then let's see with what we have here. To trigger these rules, I will need either some odd or even. I have this even zero, so maybe I can trigger this too. And yes, in fact, I can trigger this one, right? Because I have the even zero and next zero one. So then I can derive odd of one. And then nothing I cannot fire any more of this rule. I cannot apply any more of this rule. I cannot derive anything else with this rule. But maybe with this odd one, I can do something here. And if I have odd one, okay, nothing there. But maybe here with odd one and next one zero that I have it above, I can get even zero. But actually, even zero, I already have it because I have it here from this fact. So actually there's nothing else that I can obtain and hence the stable model contains the atom that I just underlined. Let me write it down here then. The stable model is next zero one, next one zero, even zero and odd one. That was it. As I said, very, very easy exercises. Let's move on then to the next one.